What's up guys, it's Kuzo and welcome back to the channel. Today I just want to show y'all the new Dragon Ball Legends content that we finally got. That we've been waiting so long for that we've been pretty dry ever since this Goku Day started. So we finally got the B-Jump leaks for Super Saiyan God Shallot. And if you've been playing through the story, you knew that this was eventually coming and it makes sense for them to release him for the anniversary since um, last year's anniversary you got Super Saiyan 2. So makes sense we're getting another trans transformation coming for our second anniversary. So I'm not really I don't really know too much about the leaks because it's in you know it's in Japanese. I don't I haven't really seen too many translations. Um but as far as I can tell right now I know that comparing to Super Saiyan 3, this one, I feel like this transformation would be a lot better because we we all know how powerful Super Saiyan 3 is. Um, he's very, very tanky and he hits like a truck, man. I, man he hits astoundingly hard. Um, but the problem with that one was his transformation had... You know, it had a time, it was a time transformation. But, and there's a reason for that, because it's Super Saiyan 3. And as you know, Super Saiyan 3 takes up a lot of stamina, so it's accurate that, of course, it'd be a time transformation. Super Saiyan God, however, doesn't have that kind of problem. It doesn't take up too much stamina. So, and as you can see from here, they would have showed, you know, usually they have like a reverse transformation picture next to, um, someone that has a if a car has a transformation, they would show like the reverse transformation. This one, however, doesn't have one, so I assume that that means that once you're Super Saiyan God Shallot, you're just stuck as Super Saiyan God Shallot for the rest of the fight. No reverting back to base form. You um, you get you keep those buffs, uh, and also not to mention he also now is able to run on God Key now. Instead of just Saiyans, he can now be ran on God Key. Which opens a vast range of options for Shallot. If you thought he was nutty before, wait to see how he is now. I, I especially hope that he's a lot stronger than he is. I mean, Super Saiyan God is stronger than Super Saiyan 3, so it only makes sense. He's gonna be OP. <laughs> he's gonna be OP. Y'all you, you th thought Kefla was and Gotenks was OP? Taking over the uh, game with the Fusion meta, I feel like God Key and Sand will now be because now that you have two teams you can put them on, Shallot man, he's gonna come forth, bringing a world of hurt to PvP. But that's not all we have. If you guys remember last night, we got a tweet from the Dragon Ball Legends team, and we we're finally getting a new battle version 2.2. So if you remember from last year, we all we got a new uh, battle version. That was battle version 2.0. I think that was. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it was 2.0. But um, and they changed a few things, like how we could no longer um, we couldn't farm the Dragon Balls by constantly strike canceling. Uh, a few other things they changed. I can't really remember off the top of my head, but that's the main thing I remember. Mm -hmm. um, so on this one, they've also nerfed a few things too basically just to stop people from spamming a few things so um i'm gonna read it here i got a picture right here so i'm not gonna read all of it i'm just gonna read the first paragraph and then summarize the rest of it for you basically the first thing they did that they commented on was they adjusted the tackle so it says the player under tackle is unable to act for a longer period of time than intended when tackles are used in combos making them unable to respond until the combo finished so basically what it's saying here is that so when you'd be in, in your PvP matches when you'd be in um, when people would do a combo on you, people you know how people would do the sidestep, dash forward, and then tackle, they would continue continually do a sidestep, dash forward, tackle, sidestep, dash forward, tackle. They would continue doing that until they were able to get their next card in order to finish off the combo. So I guess that was seen as spamming and trust me it, it does get annoying so I can see why they wanted to alleviate this from people doing that and exploiting this part of the tackle feature because it was because I have found myself getting trapped in that a few times people will continually tackle me continually tackle until they get enough key and for the card to reappear so they can finish off their uh, combo so it seems like right here they're 
stopping that, that way people can no longer do that. Although if you look on their combo conversation adjustment, they are allowing a units that hold longer combos to deal more damage. So it says, since tackle can no longer be extended used to extend combos, we have reduced severity of combo damage compensation. As a result, there will be an increase in overall combo damage done by characters who can easily string together long combos. So I'm guessing units that are like that purple trunks, um, Kefla for sure, because her combo can go on forever because of how quickly she gets her strike cards and how little key she takes up. So any, almost any unit that uses like barely any key when they're using a card or their uh, key speed is increased or their card draw speed is increased, they're doing, they're basically monsters now. They're, <laughs> so if you thought Kefla was a monster, she's now a more of a monster. Um, they also made another change. Honestly, I don't, I don't get much of these when I'm in PvP matches. Even when I'm fighting with the computer, I barely ever get, these are still a rare sight to see. But, beam clashes now. They can now kill on impact now. So if you win a beam clash and you're really low on health and close to dying, you can now die from those now. No longer can you, you be at one health and, you know, being able to, what? Regenerate, gain more health. If you're if you're hit zero, you're at zero and you're dead. That's they changed that up, but they didn't change up the one when two strike arcs at the same time and you do the what they call it the Doku Doku Dokabaki. <laughs> I can never say that word. But um you'll still be at one health. It's only the beam clashes that they change that it can totally kill you on impact if you are in danger of losing. But like I said, I feel like much people wouldn't have to worry about that because I feel like that rarely ever happens getting a beam clash in PvP or PvE. So I feel like, eh, it's a change that can happen. It won't, I guess it's cool because uh, it's more accurate that way. And at least you don't have to worry about trying to kill someone after that or having to follow up after using a special move because that's kind of hard to do. So... I guess that kind of gets away to that feature. So I guess it can be kind of appreciated in the long run. And also, last but not least, we have a new tag that they have now created. It's called Powerful Opponent. Now, I'm looking to list the names that they gave us. Um, give me one second, I can pull up the other tab because there's, there's a lot more characters on here. So here are the rest of the characters that fall under this tag that says, um, Powerful opponent coming, I think it's called. Yeah. So it looks like to me, reading all this, it's people who have versed any of the Z Warriors. So I was gonna say villain, but you can see hits on here. He's not really a villain. You know, he's kind of like solo. He does his own little thing. So I guess anybody who's fought any of the Z Warriors, here's another page. Um, you know, see, and same thing with God of Destruction Bear. He's not really a villain. I mean, he was. Eh, I, I wouldn't really call him a villain. Kind of just you know he does what he needs to do he fills the role of uh, destruction but yeah i think anybody like i said who had first a z warrior or a good guy will be on this list which kind of makes it pretty cool because now we have a new tag which means we could get something else for the anniversary than what people were originally thinking which leads to my next topic the characters that we should be getting for the second anniversary now, this is a hard thing to talk about because no one really knows what we should be getting. Even though there's been ideas of what we should be getting. Whether that be Mursumasu, Vegito Blue, or LF Trunks. But I feel like with this tag coming, there could be someone totally new. Because, I mean, we could, we could still get those. But remember, last anniversary we had five characters. So even though that's three that could possibly come... Who could be the other two? Or if we get more. So, what if... Because people keep saying, what if UI comes? He could come. So, if he does come, it would almost make sense for him to bring Jiren along. Not saying that that's going to happen, but... I mean, that'd be a good tag to put him in if they didn't put him in a Terminal Power... If they didn't make a Terminal Power tag, having a powerful opponent... I mean, that kind of screams Jiren, don't you think? So, I feel like... If, for them making this tag 
Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna be after, cause there is maintenance tonight. It's a full game maintenance. I'm not sure if it will be in there come tomorrow when the maintenance is finished or as soon as the anniversary drop. I assume it will be in there when the maintenance is done for tomorrow morning, but I guess we just have to wait and see for that. Um, but I feel, like I said, I feel like Jiren could possibly take up that tag. If anything, he definitely will whenever he comes out, even if he doesn't come for the anniversary. Because he's someone who versed Goku, which is in turn a Z-Warrior. So, this, this tag right here does open up some possibilities and a little bit of hints of what we could be getting for the second anniversary. We're still on a loop of what we could be getting. I've heard things from... Uh, Goresh, uh, other Legends YouTuber of who we could be getting because I've always wanted like, you know, some thought of who we could possibly get, but if I just say now, I would say the first three would definitely need to be LF Trunks with the Spirit Sword, uh, Murzumasu and Vegito Blue, and I guess with this new tag, I want to say Juni UI, but I feel like that might be too, too good, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm just, you know, it is with a grain of salt, you know, I'm speculating just like everybody else. No one truly knows except for unless you're working in that damn office at Bandai. <laughs> you don't really know what's coming. But anyway, that's all I want to talk about today. Um, I'm really psyched for the second anniversary. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, it does start May 31st. So mark that in your calendars. That is coming up very soon. That should be, be real quick. That will be on a Sunday. So, I'm ready. I hope y'all are ready. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let me know who y'all think. Maybe y'all hey, maybe can tell me in the comments who y'all think is coming. Or what this new tag means. Or even about the stuff I brought up in the video about the new uh, Battle 20, Battle 2.22, I think that's what it's called. Um, it is, yes. 2.2. Yeah, let me know what y'all think. Um, comments down below, and I'll be happy to read them and give you my feedback. Uh, for now, this is Kuzo signing out, and I'll see y'all later.